my fellow unicorns. It's been a while since my last video. Today I wanted to talk to you and flip through some of my husband's um, Archie and Jughead comics. Uh, I love the drawings and I love seeing the characters and in particular, um, you know, I love seeing all the food, <laughs> the junk food. That's in here. They're always eating burgers and um, milkshakes and pizzas and stuff. And so that'd be fun to flip through these and kind of see what um, these comics are about. So, this first one, it's a collection of old stories and mixed in with the new. So, when we open the page, it talks about where it all began from 1941 to 1945. And, um, it started as a radio show, apparently. Uh, the Archie Andrews Radio Show. This aired from 1943 to 1953. So this is kind of where Archie began. And as we flip through the first page, it's so colorful. I love it. Um, we have this uh, Archie who looks a little different from Archie that we are kind of used to. Um, I guess he's a bit younger here. And, like, he has, like, a buck tooth. <laughs> he's not, he's not quite as good looking. So, it's very interesting to see, uh, Betty and Veronica, you know, fight over this guy who doesn't all sorts of mini adventures here. Um, to be honest, I'm not sure what to expect in all of these stories. Oh, welcome soldiers. So Veronica and Betty here, I guess, this is the beginnings of when they're fighting over Archie for his attention. I don't understand why, but oh well. I guess there's like a dance and stuff for soldiers, people in the military. This is another um, short story introducing. Katie Keen, the pinup queen. So a new character who's very, um, I guess, very sexy and voluptuous. <laughs> the pinup girl type. I guess everybody likes her. This is talking about Archie's anniversary. are fun though because there's like always so much going on with different characters. What is this? Ghostbusters. Finney Mates. Classic movie vinyl figures. Okay. Okay, so this is where the panels start changing and they go into more of a vertical format instead of horizontal 
which is interesting. Um, and here we have more Betty and Veronica getting jealous of Archie. They're always fighting over him. I'm not as interested in the black and white panels, but I really enjoy all these colored panels because you can just see more and the expressions are emphasized when there's more color to it. That's just my opinion. What are your thoughts on um, comics that have color versus black and white. Does it make a difference to you or does it not really matter? Anyway, there's lots of characters in here and lots of st short stories. Um, and as we dive through all the different sections, like here's another one with Betty and Veronica. The circus days. Mm. These are talking about all the other issues that are going to come out. about little Archie. So I guess when Archie was a little boy, and I'm guessing that's Veronica. <laughs> hey, stupid. <laughs> so cute. Oh, I guess that's Betty. I guess they were fighting over him since they were little. Here's Jughead. I always love to see what Jughead's going to eat. He's always eating something. Interesting thing, my introduction to Archie was actually in the 90s, or was it 80s, um, cartoon series called Archie's Weird Mysteries. If any of you have seen that, it's such a great show, and um, some, from time to time I like to watch those episodes because they're always about weird supernatural mysteries and um, these seem to be more like everyday stories of just silly antics oh look 20% of all Archie comics oh that's another thing I didn't know until later um I used to love the the Josie and the Pussycats cartoon. I would watch that with Scooby-Doo. And um, I didn't know that Josie and the Pussycats were part of the Archie world. So I guess there was also a crossover with um, Scooby-Doo and the gang and Josie and the Pussycats. So I'm wondering, okay, so Josie and the Pussycats, Scooby-Doo, and Archie, I guess, are all part of the same universe. I mean, that's why haven't we seen a movie about that yet, you know? Since we're doing sh multiverses of superheroes, we should get a multiverse of Josie and the Pussycats and Scooby-Doo and Archie. Oh, and Sabrina. Is she part of the same universe, too? Interesting. 
I guess they're all part of the lineup of um, Midtown Comics. Which is interesting. Here's a Josie story. I'm just flipping through these. I don't read these, but it's interesting to see all the fun panels. Oh, I thought this one was cool. I was flipping through this earlier and I saw this is more of like um, a graphic novel style of Archie, Jughead, and Benny and Veronica. <laughs> and as you can see, Benny and Veronica are always going at it. <laughs> They're always fighting. Josie and the Pussycats movie and soundtrack, plus the comics, and then here's Riverdale. Um, I never got into the show, the CW show of Riverdale. Um, if you guys have watched it or are fans of it, let me know. Um, I guess by that point, I just felt like CW was a little too juven juvenile for my tastes in good shows. Like, I used to like Vampire Diaries, but then I kind of grew out of that, you know? Anyway, this is uh, Josie in Stage Fright. Yeah. <laughs> Stop the show. Then we're back to Archie, or Veronica. And Archie and Friends. Archie Comics. So much happening in this little book. So you get a good amount of stories in the 75th anniversary at least like 15, 20 little stories that are sure to be entertaining. Um, some of these though, I think, feature more Jughead and food, which is, I always love looking at the illustrations of food, like milkshakes and burgers and stuff. And to be sure, Jughead is always <laughs> eating. So, Let's see what we're going to get here. I should read these. They look like fun. Interesting. I haven't seen food yet. There we are. I think he's my favorite because he eats so much. And I guess, oh, I'm sorry if you heard that. Around my neighborhood, there's been a lot of um, fireworks and um, like kind of motorcycle sounds, um, I guess because of the 4th of July and people having like parties and stuff. So. I'm sorry if you hear a bunch of noise. Testy taste. So I guess Chuck is doing a taste test. Okay, for sodas. It's fun. Hmm. Free comic book day. Fun. <laughs> I 
Yes, this is Archie when they're little. Little Jughead. Trying to find a good illustration. Excuse me. I'm trying to find a good illustration of when Jughead's eating. Oh, I guess he's eating a sandwich there. But usually he's eating like <laughs> burgers and stuff. Here's an ice cream sundae. Here's a fun puzzle, and Archie's eating jelly beans. He loves jelly beans, apparently. These illustrations are so fun and colorful. They're cozy and retro, I love it. You know, it's funny. I thought there'd be more food, but I guess not in this one. So now we've moved on to vertical plant panels with an Archie story. I wonder why they decide to move to the vertical panels in favor of the horizontal ones. I prefer the horizontal ones. Oh well. Stress expert. <laughs> he doesn't seem too stressed. It's 
fun to see these illustrations though. That Woken Boy in the Hero. Jinx. I never heard of that comic. This one's interesting as well. I mean, they're all interesting. They all have different stories and ads. an Archie app. There you go, he's eating cotton candy and a soda. And this is a deep fried candy bar on a stick. <laughs> That's totally something Jughead would eat. I wish I could eat the amount that Jughead eats and not gain an ounce. Here's another Ghostbusters ad. Oh, so these are figures from five figures from Ghostbusters. Interesting. I think Jughead was also my husband's favorite character. That's probably why he has more Jugheads uh, than Archie comics. But the main thing we enjoy together is watching the series of um, Archie's Weird Mysteries. I definitely prefer that over reading a comic. I'm not as into the comic books as I am. I'm more into like the animated series of comics. Like, I used to love the X-Men uh, series and the Batman animated series. That one's really good. And um, it's currently on Max. Um, HBO Max or Max. I think it's now just called Max. Oh look, here's Riverdale. CW. More antics.
shock. There we go. We've got Jughead eating a burger finally. Then we've got a little Jughead and a puzzle. one's called Double Double. So for those um, of you, I don't know if any of you, of you um, eat at In-N-Out Burger, but I usually get the Double Double, which is basically two patties and two slices of cheese. So I love this cover because it reminds me of In-N-Out Burger, which is so says 200 of Bob's Burgers, the perfect way to celebrate my anniversary. And he's like, by the way, who's paying for this? <laughs> yeah, who's paying for 200 burgers? Oh, um, here's a Sabrina the Teenage Witch. supernatural bent to it. Some weird villain. Here's a Godzilla ad. Size matters. Twelve by eighteen inches. a sudden interest in Susie's sweet Archie. Her father just bought a hamburger stand, Veronica. <laughs> so Jughead seems to be very happy with Susie right now because of all the free burgers.
Oh, Jughead. He's always getting into trouble. This one, it's interesting. It doesn't have as many um, ads as the other issues, which is interesting. Well, 12 million downloads of the Archie app. It's free. Oh wow, it says over 2,000 books available. That's crazy. So if you don't want the physical copies, can download it on the App Store or Google Play. This last issue is also called a Double Double. fall weather. Oh, the universal most monsters action figures. Okay. Dr. Jekyll and Hyde and Quasimodo. looks like an X-Men, doesn't she? And there's Gandalf. <laughs> and I guess Smaug, but not really. He's eating a ginormous sundae. It says, Jughead, you're not going to eat that super duper sundae alone. He said, nope. I've already ordered a cheese sandwich to go with it. I love that. That's what I'm talking about. Hmm. I have to live vicariously through Jughead because... He's constantly eating a 
amazing junk food, but not gaining a single ounce. So, I have to be careful what I eat, because I do gain when I eat a lot. So. It's about to get into a fight. <laughs> and there he is eating a hot dog. Of course. He's got hot dogs, burgers, pizza, sundae, milkshake, and like pie and fries. And, oh my gosh. I guess he could gain game and so some money. I guess he came into some money, and so that's why he's able to afford all this food. Of course he'd spend it all on food. That dog looks like the pound puppies. Do you guys remember pound and cake. illustrations and stories behind Jughead and Archie comics. They're really cute, they're really fun, uh, and retro and vintage, and I think it's something you, anyone can enjoy. Um, I definitely want to read one for fun and see why my husband likes it so much. Um, he has a few more issues of these uh, stored away, but these were the ones that he already had out, so I thought I'd grab them. Anyway, I, um, I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I'm sorry it took me so long to get back to it, but I just wanted to, um, I have a lot of stuff going on in my personal life, and I'm planning a big move across country, and I'll give you more details on that soon. But in the meantime, I really appreciate you guys for coming out here and watching this video. Thank you so much for watching.